going undercover. Now that Cold War is plagued with losers that are crashing in, booting content creators out of games, I had to go and make a new account so I can stay incognito from these people. And I figured that now that I have a fresh account, I might as well grind some zombies camos on it. And as you can see, I'm merely a level 23. This account is brand new. I have not played zombies on it once. My creator class menu is still showing me how to use it. But there's no better weapon to start a zombies grind with than the 1911. Now, hopefully while editing, I do a good job of blurring my name out, but I'm bound to miss it at some point. But for now, we can enjoy a, a nice little loser-free era of playing Cold War. And I don't even have Ring of Fire unlocked yet. So I guess I'm going to go with uh, Tesla Storm. And for our camo challenges today, we need to get 2,500 kills with this, 2,500 critical kills, 2,500 kills while it's Pack-A-Punch, 15 special or elite eliminations with it, 10 kills rapidly 10 times, three or more crits rapidly 25 times, and then we need to get 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit. This is going to be so much fun. I haven't done this grind in probably about a year. But this will be our third time doing Dark Aether, so hopefully this time around, it'll be a lot smoother. And for our first camo grinding game, might as well start on the first map on D Machina. And recently in our last video, we tried to go to round 100 while offline on zombies. And apparently when you play offline, you still get some tier 5 perks or tier 5 skills. But like for some reason, you only get the, the perk upgrades tier 5 when you buy them straight from their perk machine, not from the Wonder Fizz. And we still have the Bowie knife then, but as you can tell here, we're just smacking zombies with our pistol. I haven't seen this in a while, but uh, I should really start going for critical kills here. If I can aim. Oh no, this is bad. I'm already a dead shot merchant. Oh, come on. That should definitely be a crit. But I figured for this run through of it, like we did before, I'm going to have you guys pick what weapon we do next. So go ahead and leave a comment below of what weapon you want us to do. Keep in mind, I literally just got this game, so I might not have the weapon if you need to be like a super high level for it or do some sort of challenge. But I was thinking you guys should also pick what skills I upgrade as well. I don't want to go through and, you know, just upgrade everything up to tier five real fast. Like just go and get like ring of fire and all that to start out. You know, I'll go off what you guys tell me to upgrade. Add another layer of uh, difficulty this time around to the camo grind. And I've been having a lot of fun playing Cold War recently. And honestly, these uh, these losers that kick people offline, kind of a blessing in disguise because it just gave me an excuse to make another account. And honestly, with all the, you know, the, the blow up over Cold War not being safe, uh, me kind of perpetuating it, I honestly think it's mainly just for content creators. Uh, if you're just playing normally on your own, you're probably going to be fine uh, unless you piss off some, you know, dumbass in your lobby that happens to have whatever program does it. Then you might get booted off. But from what I've seen in Cold War, I think it's just kind of like a boot or a crash type deal. I don't know if it's as unsafe as BO3 was, but I don't know. This stuff's all kind of new. And we just hit level 30. We're at level 29 and now we can officially start going for our jackrabbit challenges. And I think we should probably get those done early here considering we don't have any sort of upgrade to help us out. But I know I've been saying this a lot, you know, with us going back to Cold War, but this game truly is a gem. Like going and playing multiplayer to level this thing up was so much fun. Oh, and we got our first camo too, our stroke camo. I'll stroke my meat to that. Oh, and there's our acidic camo. Oh, they're about to start flying in, aren't they? Ooh, Wasteland 2. But the multiplayer is just so much fun because I, I literally just hopped in, played, uh, you know, 6v6 face off, which is just an amazing mode. And it just felt like I was right back in it, like right back into this game's peak. I just cannot wait for Treyarch's next game. And also I've seen like a few people throwing around solutions. They're like, oh, just play on console, turn cross play off. Uh, put your party to private and said it's only one player and that'll fix all the hacking issues I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be hacking if uh, settings in game or just on console would fix it But those same people that uh, think that would solve the issue are the same people that beat their meat on incognito and think that's safe I promise you you can still get malware from that Oh shit. But like I said before, I'm pretty sure this issue is only going to really affect like if you're streaming the game or anything and some losers just looking up the, the game on Twitch looking for somebody to take down. But besides that, you mostly should be fine. And uh, I think we finally got enough money. Let's go turn on power. So let's slap this button. Oh, look at that. We got a calling card just for turning on power. We'll get this button on too. And the last one. Go ahead and open up that hole. Now let me in that hole. Now let's see if we can get lucky on our first crystal break on this account. No, but maybe on our second one. Oh, okay. Armor. That's decent. Oh, wait. We got an FFAR. I'm just going to leave that on the ground, but that's a decent drop. We might pack a punch part, and we should probably pack a punch like right away. And good thing we got enough loose change there to do it. Because we got to start racking up these pack a punch kills like 
Right meow. Let's go ahead and get our first pack a punch there. And now I'm curious to see how long it's going to take for me to get all the way up the Golden Viper. But we might as well do the coffin dance real quick. It's still weird that you couldn't do it offline when I was trying the other day. Didn't know it's an online only thing. But we got one last orb to shoot. There we go. See a plague hounds. Idiots. And while they're doing their little dance. Oh, wait, there's intel right here. Where? I guess I'll just grab it. Oh, it was under the stairs. Okay, got it. Well, while they're dancing, I'm gonna go see if the crystals will bless us. Come on. You gotta have something for me in these. I think the crystals are just shy and they don't want to give me anything good. Lame. Well, that's all right, because they saved all the good stuff in this box. Go ahead. Ray gun. Nope. M16, I think. Get out of here, Plague Hound. Oh, my game's kind of lagging like shit. That's the excuse I'm going to use for not being able to aim. Oh, no, that's the, the, the Krieg. I think that was the very first weapon I ever got Dark Aether or Golden Viper. So it's kind of cool to see it make a, a reappearance. But now I got to figure out a grind strategy. So I do have Tesla Storm, which, you know, should be fine for the most part. Oh, what's going on, Megaton? Oh, I forgot I have to kill 15 of you guys. Grinding camos used to be so difficult when there's only D Machina. So I don't remember if the splits count as separate zombies. They might. They also might not. Okay, we need to get a Tesla Storm or something like right now. I'll throw a decoy. That way we can take out all these zombies. Oh, we unlocked Healing Aura. Probably won't ever use that. Oh, and there's our Growl Camo. And Forecast. Look at me go. Stay back, motherfucker. That goes for both of you. Damn, these things are strong. That and the 1911 is just weak. There we go. That's one of them down. You're next. Go ahead and join your pal. Come on. There we go. Maybe I shouldn't have picked that key card up. I remember that being the strat. Is leaving the key card on the ground and then more megatons will spawn so you pick it up. But I only remember things after I do them. It's like me buying jug and then immediately remembering there's like a jug easter egg I could do for a free one. But at least I didn't forget that this time. I actually did that one. Okay. I think I need dead shot like right now. My aim is suffering. Actually, I'm still hitting a few crits, but it could be a lot easier. And I will not be grabbing elemental pop. I don't want shatter blast taken away from any of my uh, critical kills or potential crits. Can I upgrade my pistol though? Because it's feeling very weak. We get a green, blue. I could probably do a little more, but there's some zombies over here. Come here, dead shot. Time to carry me through this challenge again. Oh, it's so nice. It's beautiful not having to think about aiming. All I got to do is move. Oh, nothing but domers. And we made it to our first round milestone and got our first Aether Crystal. Going to be a lot of firsts today. You know what? Let's try uh, messing around up here in Penthouse. Make them come to me in a straight line. Or at least most of them. Oh, there's Corrosion. I think that's our first Jackrabbit, right? Unless I missed the first one. Let's do this. Quick little Tesla Storm. Give me some points while I deal with this Megaton. There we go. And we're going to have to stun these guys. You guys got to stay back. And you guys need to leave right now. Please. Please stay the hell away from me. Eat another stun. There we go. Cool. Honestly, this challenge would be so much easier on this map if these dogs counted towards special or elites. But they ain't shit. So they don't count for nothing. Pistol ain't shit either. It takes multiple shots to take down a plague hound. They're like one tap with every other weapon. The worst thing about starting a new account though is that I have like no skins. And I'm not just talking about camos. I'm talking about like any cool operators, any cool weapon blueprints. I got nothing. Now I'm not about to put money in this. Oh no, no, we're not going down. No, I decided I don't want to do that. Sorry, zombies. Maybe another time. That's actually probably the best time to try to grab quick revive. I don't know if it even works because last time we tried offline, I never bought Quick Revive from Mint's Machine. I only got it from the Wonder Fizz. And it didn't look like I could revive myself while I was down, but I could be wrong. Couldn't hurt to have it. While we're talking about like perk upgrades, before I try to upgrade anything with the Aether Crystal, should I try to go to round 100 again? With legit no upgrades? I don't know how different it's going to go from our other attempt, uh, considering we had some tier 5 upgrades despite playing offline. But I'd be down to try it. Okay, need this insta kill. That's going to help with the Megaton. Already got him half health. Almost split. Oh, I can pistol whip these zombies too. Ooh. 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 Let's try to do something about these guys while we have the little bit of insta-kill left. Oh, fuck. I'm going to go down. All right. Well, let's try out and see if Quick Revive helps us get up. Don't look like it. At least we keep our pistol on the ground. We can still grind down here. 
But I should probably use my self revive before I lose uh, Deadshot. And I should probably grab another self revive before I lose my life. But that's our first doubt on this account. And it wasn't a pretty one. Oh, we have it locked. We unlock it at level 54. So I cannot go down again this whole run. I wish I would have known that. Maybe I would have played a little better. I probably wouldn't have, but I like to think that I would. This sucks. I literally cannot go down again. That means I should probably go grab Jug. Because even though it's not fully upgraded, a little health help is going to go a long way. And I should probably uh, pack my gun again so I can actually do damage against some of these zombies. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, that's three special elites right there. We've taken on three full Megatons. The splits do not count. Oh, oh no. Oh, I don't know how I made it out of that. Holy shit. That's cold wear training if I've ever seen it. Oh no! No! Ooh! I should really invest in some more armor too. We gotta have enough scrap for that. There we go, armor level two, armor level three. Can I sneak in a pack a punch while we're here? Yep. Pack two. Oh, and I was thinking maybe not grab an ammo mod because it'll take away from all of our, our camos here that we need. But I'm thinking that a, a little dead wire might not hurt. It could actually help. So I think I'm going to do that just to be safe. So I want to try to get this done in one game. I don't want to have to redo everything. But this is what I was worried about. I can't even craft decoys. Those would be so helpful. All right, well, I'm not going back in penthouse. Uh, I know even at round 16, that's a death sentence. I'll be realistic with myself. Oh, we're at 250 crits. We just need to um, multiply that by 10 or... Is it 10? I don't know. Don't ask me math. And our crits are falling way behind our normal kills. I need to step my game up. And since we have one zombie left, let's go see if Wonder Fizz is here. And then I can just get some more perks. Oh, it is. Well, so we need Speed Cola. Tombstone's actually going to be useful for us. Stamina up. And basically about everything. We probably don't need Mule Kick, and I'm probably not going to grab Elemental. This is as many perks as we're going to have. Unless I'm just rolling in dough, and then I'll probably just buy them to buy them. Oh my god, Deadshot feels like cheating, but it's so satisfying. Honestly, what round do I even need to get to to kill 15 Megatons? Because we're on round 19, and this is our fourth one. We still need 11 more. What do they spawn every, like, four rounds? I do the math on that, but I get it wrong. Let's go see if we can upgrade our gun a little bit more. We only have this blue tier. Got it purple, and uh, we need to save up a lot to get this thing gold. This is going to be a long grind. We're not even halfway there, and it's round 20. Oh, shit. Good thing we had that. That's what the button's for. Actually, an oh, shit button moment. Oh, shit. Again, forgot it don't work on Megatons. I almost walked right into them. And what's going to take even longer for this grind is that I'm training all these zombies up first before I start shooting because I don't want to get caught with my dick out or anything and just get hit from behind. I want these zombies to hit me from the back. So we do one of these and then we do some of this. And that sun seemed to, like, do basically nothing. I don't know how it got zero zombies with that. But since they're trained up, it didn't matter. So I got out of there unscathed. What is a scave, by the way? I don't know where I picked this term up. But it's almost like a, a, a scab. But they try to put, like, some, some French on it. People should be making shit up. Oh, there's our conviction camo. All right, we're all done with jackrabbits now. And we have enough to get pack three, which I will be grabbing shortly. So let me get a few more kills. That should be good. And now we are the proud owners of Pack-A-Punch 3. Probably one of the better Pack-A-Punch 3 camos, or just Pack-A-Punch camos in general in this game. The pistol don't show it off very well since it's only like on the slide, but such a good camo. Now the only thing we have left to upgrade is getting this thing to gold, but we still have a lot of scrap to go. We're only at 420. Oh, weed? Shout out to weed. I honestly can't believe I'm saying this. Please spawn in a Megaton. These special and elites are going to kill me. I mean, not actually. Well, they might, but we just need so many of them. I, I should have thought about that before hopping on D-Machina for the first one. Literally any other map would be faster, even Outbreak. We're at 750 kills now. Quick grudge camo. Not quick at all, actually. Quite a long camo. We're now like a, a quarter of the way there. I just had one of them hot farts that come out like, kind of hurt. I'm letting out some heaters. Actually, one thing that I want to test out, I want to see if we get first box luck on this account our very first box spin and see if we uh, get a ray gun or anything. Because if I do end up going down, I can only get back up with tombstone and I want something uh, good for it. So ray gun, please. Very first pull. Oh, the street sweeper's not bad. I'm not going to use it. Wonder weapons only, please. Okay, maybe it's uh, second time's the charm. You know, first the worst, second the best, as they say. Oh, the E-Tool. That's actually really good. Not going to use it, though. So first the worst, second the best, third the golden bird. Whatever that means. Oh, a death machine? Cool. 
could be useful. Don't know if I can use that in Tombstone, though. I'm pretty sure you can't use, like, equipment. Okay, if three is the golden bird, then four is turd. I'm not using that Mac 10. I'm spinning this bitch till it moves. Okay, it moved. Bitch ass box. And I think we finally have enough scrap to fully upgrade our 1911. I really hope this gun holds up going forward. Round 30. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear my AC. I'm burning up in here. And we still have, like, we need to double all of our kills. So I'm predicting we, if we survive all the way, we'll probably be done around round 46. Assuming we get enough Megatons, which is probably a lofty goal. Oh, bloodshed camo. We're at 1,500 now, only 1,000 more. Oh, there's 1,500 kills well packed. We're making our way up. Oh, there's our 1,500 crits. We just need 1,000 more. We're really close on our normal eliminations. This pistol's name really says it all. This is really painful. And we've made it to round 40. This has been the longest time it's taken me to get to round 40, like, ever. Trying to kill every single zombie with just a 1911 adds on a whole bunch of time. Oh, we're at nine special or elites. Still need a lot more, though. I'm always considering once I get all of, like, my critical kills and pack a bunch kills done, X-filling, and then going and play, like, Firebase C or, like, Forsaken or something just to get our, uh, our special or elites. That way we get the most amount of Aether Crystals that we can without just losing the game and not having to go to like round 70 just to get a few more Megatons. I guess we'll see how we're feeling. Oh, there's our Rotten Camo. We're all done with normal eliminations. Crits are up next. Or actually, Pack-a-Punch is probably up next. Then Crits, but you guys know what I mean. No, 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 no. Holy fuck. I have no idea how I survived that. Those stuns are a lifesaver. I needed to grab ammo so bad and I had no field upgrade. Holy shit. That is probably the luckiest I've ever been in this game. Now, don't you ruin it, Megaton. Was that our Pack-a-Punch camo? It's a power killer. There it is. Okay. Confused me for a second seeing like a, a metal pop up. But not our camo, but we have our chemical camo now. We've officially made it to round 50 and we are less than 100 crits away. And probably still like five elite kills away. So I'm definitely X-filling like the next chance I get. Oh, self-revive. Holy shit. It's taken until round 50 for one to drop, but we actually got one. <laughs> Only four crits away though. I guess it really just wants us to get our crits. Oh, is that it? That's Headhunter? There's our banished camo. Okay, we have all of our crits. I'm going to finish out this round and then I am <laughs> X-filling because there's no way I'm waiting another 20 rounds just to get a few more Megatons. I should also kill these Megatons too. That'd probably be smart. No! Oh! And of course we wait until <laughs> right now to go down. Okay. Well, I guess I'll use my revive. Actually, no. We'll use Tombstone because there really isn't any zombies left besides like these two. Because we'll save our self-revive that we just caught, just in case we need it for the x -fill. I'm going to get my perks back. And that's the round. I didn't kill this Megaton yet. Oh, but he killed me. Cool. Uh, I guess I'll use my self-revive now. Why not? Oh, no! The Megaton killed me when I when he was one hit. All right, well, I guess no x -fill for me. I swear, every time I go down, it just spirals, but... I, we got done what we needed to get done, and that probably just saved us a little bit of time than trying to exfil, but we got out of there. 3,000 kills, 2,512 crits, no revives, four downs. And I'm pretty sure since we didn't get that last shot on that Megaton, that that's not going to count for a special or an elite elimination. We leveled up like 45 times. That's an exaggeration, obviously. Got a decent amount of Aether Crystals. Unlocked Ring of Fire and basically every camo for this weapon. How far away were we though? Four away, okay. We would have gotten our boutique camo there, but Megaton fucked us up. All right, let's just hop into Firebase real quick and finish this. Okay, let's knock out these elite kills and get out of here. Ooh, grind the rail, first time on this account. Clean. It's like the one time I want to see Mimics, they're not spawning. I know it's only round four, but I feel like I've seen them like this early, especially when you're just opening up spots on the map. There's just little items sitting there that they're going to spawn out of. But no, they don't want to do it this time. First generator is done. Our second reactor is done. And I'm still yet to see a mimic. Also just nailed that rail grind. Still got it. And our third reactor is complete, courtesy of a knuckle sandwich. Oh, there's a mimic. I don't have any ammo though. Come on. You're right with you. Come on. Go ahead and die. 
Pistol whip. One more. There we go. There's our boutique camo. We just need three more of those guys. There's another one. Just need you to go ahead and die for me, buddy. Thank you. Tell your friends. You know what? I could probably do the juggy strike. That spawns in mimics. And then we'll be done. Okay. Bunny, bring me to the bunny realm, please. Now, come on. Come to Papa. Hurry, we're running out of time. Thank you. I swear if I get down during this, I'm gonna be pissed. Cool. Now, where's the mimic? Quit dancing and tell me where the mimic is. Fuck. Don't kill me. I kill you. That's how this thing goes. Damn, you're actually tanking shots. Stop that. No. Bad. There you go. We just need one more. And this should be our first gold viper. Let's go, baby. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh, there's our manic camo or maniac. Whatever. I still can't read. Nothing's changed. And give me Ray K out of the box just uh, for good luck. Nope. We got a magnum. Probably for my dong. All right. And zombie, it's your lucky day. You get a free meal. You can take me out. There you go. Perfect. There we go. Only took us nine rounds to get the rest of our uh, elite eliminations. And there it is. Golden Viper. Let's make sure that we actually got it though. Sick nasty. And just in case you're curious, this is what the 1911 looks like with Golden Viper. Uh, this is a game where I really was concerned about camo coverage on a lot of weapons because it's literally only on the slide, which is really, really bad. Oh, well, we got our first camo on this account done. And I think that might be one of the longest times it's taken me to get Golden Viper. It's been three and a half hours trying to do this. No upgrades is rough. On top of just the 1911 being a pea shooter, it just was taking forever to get through those rounds. But we did it. We got a weapon done. Uh, make sure you leave any suggestions of whatever weapon you want me to do, whatever upgrades you want me to do, whatever map you want me to play on, whatever. Leave them down below. The top comment will be what we do next. And I truly appreciate all your guys' love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.